So what I want you to do, assuming that she already knows how to diaphragmatically breathe, because if she doesn't, we need to work on that first. You're going to take a deep breath in. I'm just going to hold this in place. And I want you to exhale through your nose as slow as you possibly can. So make that exhale as about five or six times longer than your inhale. Then you're going to hold the end of the exhale for about two to three seconds before you inhale again. So inhalation is facilitatory to tone in the nervous system. Exhalation is inhibitory. So the net effect is if you exhale much longer than you inhale, you're overall tuning down the nervous system. And the longer she exhales and then you hold the end of the exhale, the more I can lightly sink in, but I'm still, again, I'm not gonna sink in anywhere near her spine. Overall, the, the position of my fist or my hand is just purely to kind of bring awareness to the area, because literally you can do this anywhere. You, I've done this with someone putting like their piriformis over a ball because they're all using trigger point balls. Like you don't need to roll around in a ball. You can use the ball for awareness of tenderness and then do four to five deep and slow exhalations 